on everyone hello and welcome this is Aya and part 2 where I'm gonna show you how to mount and resin your opaque white craft plastic but first let me show you some design that I have been working on so the supplies I'm going to use today are 12 by 12 inch canvas and this is a perfect size for the opaque white craft plastic also I'm gonna use gel medium you can use any type of a clear glue like glossy uh, glossy medium or even mod podge and also a sponge applicator simply adhere the opaque white craft plastic on the top of the canvas and grab another sheet of opaque white craft plastic and along with the pressure of the prayer you're gonna have a smooth surface and also you're gonna get rid of the bubbles Next, I'm gonna cover the edges of the canvas using blue tape. It's a low tag uh, tape. I did that because in the end I'm going to paint the edges so I don't want the resin, you know, to touch or, you know, fall into the edges. So the first product I'm using is Glossy Accent and we can say it's another alternative of resin. It's really good and economical. Using the sponge applicator brush, you know, to even the glossy accents of the glue, I let it dry for three hours, and voila, you will end up with this clear dimensional gloss look. Now it's time to remove uh, the tape, and you will notice uh, these sharp edges. Simply uh, use the scissor to trim it off, and nail file, you know, to smooth the surface out. So with a dry brush, clean the surface of any residue of filing and now it's time to paint the edges. So here I'm using gold acrylic paint. You can use silver or any color that matches uh, your design. Okay, now the fun part, we're gonna move to the resin. So simply mix two equal parts of resin, bottle A and hardener bottle B. Mix it very well and stir for five minutes. And yes, set the timer for that because we don't want to over mix it. So after mixing, pour the resin into the opaque white craft plastic and you know move it around and with a sponge applicator, even the resin out. Resin needs like 24 hours to cure and voila, you will end up with a beautiful glass look. So when you remove the blue tape, you will end up with more sharp edges because the resin is really hard. So for that, I used electronic nail file. And now let's move to the final example where I'm going to trim the Obey Quiet Craft plastic. And this is the beauty about using big size. Also, I'm going to use a wood panel and hands down is the best because of the sturdiness of the surface. So I'm going to apply a thin uh, layer of the gel medium or any clear uh, glue. Again, I'm going to put my opaque white craft plastic after I trim, uh, trim it down to the same size as my wood panel and with the pressure of my prayer so I have everything glued down. Again, securing my edges using uh, the blue tape. You will see me here doing more than one example because really I did a lot of canvases or a lot of panels because this will be a gift in the end. Uh, so yes, again, I'm going to use the resin because I really loved how it looks in the end. So applying thin layer this time, I'm not going to pour, you know, so much resin like first time. So it prevents, you know, sharp edges when it cures. Again, I'm going to leave it for 24 hours to cure and after that removing the blue tape. And if you stuck with your tape, you can simply use the heat tool, you know, to melt the resin and the, the tape will, you know, uh, remove easily. So this is our project for today. I hope you like it and get inspired and try it out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.